You see me? Former Syracuse University linebacker Zaire Franklin is no stranger to hard work. His work ethic on and off the field have led to him being a three-time yeah. captain for Orange nah, football nah. and a leader in his community. Uh, being a leader to me is just all about leading by example. Um, always being the guy that people can count on, they can depend on, whether that's on the field or off the field. Off the field, Zaire has participated in a variety of community service projects and graduated a semester early with a degree in finance. He credits his parents as a driving force behind his success, particularly his late mother, who always stressed the importance of being the first in his family to graduate. You know, and what it took to raise me and um, the different d things I, I went through growing up back in Philly it definitely drive me every day to just kind of change, you know, the path that my, I guess, my family's on and try to just you know, upgrade my last name. I don't know, it just motivated just to, to do it for those who are coming after me. On the field, the middle linebacker has been just as successful, playing in four seasons as a defensive force for the Syracuse Orange. Zaire has been a two-time All-ACC selection and finished his career with over 300 tackles and more than 30 tackles for loss. Even with these accolades, Zaire was not invited to the NFL Combine, a snub he uses to add fuel to an already intense fire. I was most disappointed about not making the Combine than I was any of the All-Star games, but you know, I just kind of took it as an advantage for me to get an extra week of training. Um, take it as an advantage to, you know, be able to have clearer goals. You know, I knew what I wanted to do personally. I knew what I felt like I could do personally, but, you know, based off of what everybody else in the country was doing, whether I would have to push myself just a little bit harder to beat them or whether I knew where I was at was exactly where I was supposed to be. So, I mean, I treat it as an opportunity. I was already motivated, you know, combine or no combine. However, uh, I feel like, like I said, that just helped me set my goals. After watching the combine from home, Zaheer was determined to beat the numbers of the top performing linebackers. At his pro day, he performed in the top six among linebackers in the 40, bench reps, and the vertical jump. I knew that it was going to be better because that's what I practiced doing. So, like, it's like, I, it's like I said earlier, like, I didn't, like, pro day was just another day. Like, we have been, I've been having those numbers for, like, three weeks, about three weeks now. And it was just like... I done did it so many times, it was just like doing it again. With his pro day now behind him, Franklin's focus has shifted to draft night and hopes he's one of the fortunate few to have their name called. He plans to continue working with the same intensity and determination he's had throughout his career. Wherever I go, uh, whatever team I, I go to, um, I'm going to work harder than everybody there. And I know everybody says that, but you can ask every person who's ever met me um, that I'm outperform every uh, metric or expectation that you could have for me and you know wherever I go I chip on my work. Judah Loom, NCC Sports.